Well, joining me now is an entrepreneur in one of New Orleans' most, uh, you know, most vital industries, the energy sector. Todd Hornbeck is the CEO of Hornbeck Offshore Services, which supplies tankers, barges, and other vessels for the oil and gas industry in the Gulf Coast. And uh, Todd, as you were saying, migrating here from Texas about 12 years ago with what? A business plan and a dream, and look at where you are now, right? Half a billion dollar company. Yes, and working harder today than I worked 12 years ago. <laughs> right, that's the curse of the entrepreneur, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, let, let's just talk about your business very quickly, though, because uh, you mentioned, I think, in your fourth quarter conference call that you are now seeing a bottom, right? A bottom in your business or a bottom in the economy. I mean, how, how far along is this bottom that you're seeing? Well, that's a $64 million question I think everyone wants to know, um, is how long is this recession going to last? Right. Um, we've seen a bottoming in the uh, demand for our equipment. Uh, we're starting to see some increases in utilization. Uh, really haven't seen much in movement of day rates or, or earnings power movement, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that'll come in the next the couple of quarters. the demand is still a little bit softer, right? Well, uh, not that the demand is softer, it's just that um, the, uh, the demand has stabilized, uh, but we really haven't had that much increased demand. And mm -hmm. when we start getting a little bit more increased demand and supply is soaked up, then we'll, we'll start getting some purchasing power um, and some pricing leverage. Um, I think we're, we're probably um, not through the cycle yet. Um, hopefully, it's, it's going to happen the second half of the year or the first uh, half of 2011. But, okay. you know, I think that's what all the whole United States is waiting to see. Indeed. Uh, oil prices, though, at around $70, $80 a barrel, does that help or hurt your business or is that neutral right now? Ultimately, it's very, very good for our business. High commodity prices are good for our customers uh, that eventually take that earnings power and plow back into their businesses with more drilling and more exploration, which feeds our demand for our equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, what we really haven't seen at this point is the use in the United States of our barge fleet, our offshore coastwise barge fleet of gasoline usage or, or diesel usage yet. That consumption is still lagging. Mm. Uh, so that kind of tells us that uh, the economy really hasn't started to rebound like we would like it right now. Now. Okay, Todd, let's talk about being an entrepreneur, right? Being in small business here uh, in New Orleans. I mean, why did you, I mean, in the sense that, you know, New Orleans, uh, you know, they want to sort of harness, uh, harness the, these entrepreneurs, partly because there are no really huge businesses based in Louisiana, right? I mean, it is really all about entrepreneurs and small businesses here. Well, it, it definitely was a different move, us moving to Louisiana uh, to start a company rather than going to Texas or Houston where the oil industry has got a very large showing. Right. Uh, but if you look at uh, the culture here, the work ethic, uh, the amount of people that are in this type of business and the type of business that we're doing. It makes a lot of sense to build ships here, uh, to have an operation in New Orleans, and because most of our equipment operates off the coast of Louisiana. Even though we may be operating in some deep water regions in right. the Gulf of Mexico, a lot of that uh, repair work, a lot of the construction work, and the all transportation work comes from the coast of Louisiana. Louisiana offshore to deep water regions. And we were, you know, talking to some other small business owners earlier, but skill sets here. Are you finding any problems finding talent, the right skills? Well, it, it really depends on what you're looking for at the time you're looking for it. Uh, in the oil industry, uh, New Orleans and Louisiana has a great reputation, uh, has a very good skill set, uh, this region for that type of industry. I think uh, as we've seen after Katrina and after the storms, a lot of rebound in the city, mm -hmm. a lot of interest in the state. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, we have a new governor. Right. Uh, and now we have a new mayor. Right. Uh, I think there's so a lot some of stimulus funding, a lot too, of, a yeah. stimulus funding and a lot of progress that's happening in the city and in the region. Todd, thank you so much for stopping by. I really okay. appreciate it. All right. Uh, Todd Hornbeck of Hornbeck Offshore Services.